Hello, hello. Hey guys, this is so <clears throat> confusing. Need some action now? <laughs> Yo, hey, hello, Fatson. Uh, glad you guys came over. I hope you can hear me. I'm so sorry, my OBS is normally um, tied to my business account because I'm live streaming web design four times a week and then switching from um, the business account to my private account is always a bit of a hassle and um, for that reason sometimes this this takes a little bit longer all right so so matt's adventure no cosplay unsubscribe yeah 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 i, I don't have any buckets here w who has buckets at home like that's so crazy um all right so what do we do um we can take a look at how to um how to perfect score some of these levels. <laughs> I mean, we just saw this at Aaron, <clears throat> I think. Um, so yeah, let me just get like a little bit uh, information up on the right side. So Matt's Adventure, that sounds good. And then we also gonna uh, talk about the respective encounter. So we got common encounter one. And um, I got the video for that. So I can just, um, Oh, but that's double plus 10. <laughs> I shave like twice a week. Uh, if anybody thinks that I'm shaving all the time, uh, that's not the case. I shave like twice a week. It's one of the advantages of being um, of being self-employed. So this is the first encounter, common encounter number one. You need a lightning victory. Uh, victory. No, nobody should take any damage. So this is pretty straightforward. You can play whoever you want. So that means we want to play summons. Uh, you, you Guys that can create summons. So, Sir Matt is pretty obvious, obviously. <laughs> we have to play him. Uh, then Geeks comes to mind. Also very obvious unit for these kinds of encounters. And then you can play whatever you want. Like, Dogger is fine. Uh, generally speaking, you should have enough with Geeks and Sir Matt to make sure that you're not getting hit. Uh, since there's a lot of warriors on the other side of the board, it makes a lot of sense to go with Queen Akeshru. Then, this is pretty straightforward. You go with Geeks. Uh, everybody dies. That's that's the strategy here. Then, before you go for Queen Akeshru, you want to get your summons on the board. Uh, because this is the only warrior that Sir Matt can connect with. And then, after that, you get another summon on the board. And this is the game. There is uh, not much else to it. This is the encounter number one. I sign off for the day. Thank you so much, uh, Nako. Uh, see you soon, man. So, that was basically common encounter number one. Um, and now I need to go to the next video. This is uh, normally this is the part that I cut out whenever I do my videos for YouTube, which uh, is <laughs> which is the the part that takes a lot of time. So let's uh, just continue with common encounter number two. So let's go back to QuickTime. Here we go. Reassign this, and I think I think that works. All right. Let's turn the volume down. And this is common encounter number two. Uh, this is also my first attempt on this encounter. Most of these common encounters don't take like uh, a lot of attempts. So this time we want to play light heroes and none of our heroes are supposed to take any damage. So again, pretty straightforward. Uh, you want to go with summons, but you need to play light heroes. There's only two light heroes that can create summons. One of them happens to be Matoy, so that's pretty good. And then the other one, if you happen to have him, is Siad. Um, there's an alternative win strategy in this level, which is Tanamo. Uh, Tanamo is an alternative win strategy in every level, if you have a highly leveled Tanamo. So the only thing that you need to pay attention to here is you need to first attack with Matois to create some summons before Tanamo goes ham and kills everybody, because otherwise you don't get summons on the board. That's your only chance to get summons on the board. So this seemed pretty good. Um, Arios is actually, generally speaking, Arios is pretty good, because Arios is one of those units that is really strong against common enemies, and then he he loses a lot of steam once the enemies are going to uncommon and above. So we can see here, this is a really good strategy. Katanamo takes care of almost everybody. And then there's two summons that still stay on the board. And then we win the turn off, the turn after. All right, so that is common encounter number two with a perfect score. It becomes slightly more challenging once we are at common encounter number three because I needed two attempts. Two, give me two, Utah, to uh, do the common encounter number three. So let's take a look at this one. This time we need to play uh, warriors. No, no damage. 
Yeah, nobody is supposed to take any damage. That's not a gigantic challenge as long as you have enough freedom of choice who you want to play. So this level I had to play twice. The first time I made one mistake, I went with Dorga on the right side and then I got one frog and I felt like, yeah, that should be fine. Then this mage up here came down, um, magically caged my frog, that's a word. And then after that, these guys all basically ganged up and, and dealt some damage to my Dorga or something like that because I only got one frog. So you want to make sure that you have more than one summon on the right side. That's the important thing here. That's why I was switching it around and moved. Ah, oh, it's my uncle. I should actually give him a call. Yeah, that's another good reminder that I wanted to cut out when I was uh, preparing this for YouTube. Good reminder to myself. So um, then we're switching around units a little bit. Silverwood is also uh, really cool in this festival because he happens to be a mounted unit that can ensure that you're taking out the last couple of opponents that are otherwise surviving. So this seemed pretty good, I think. Did I go for Queen Akeshro? Really? Oh yeah. I'm kind of boycotting Silverwood. Uh, Queen Akeshro is very good because you have light units on the board. So you first want to connect with Tanamo to trigger her passive. Uh, also you can lock her down so she cannot move out of the way. And then after that Queen Akeshro is really good because she can take out Tanamo, do, lo do a lot of damage, create some darkness. All that good stuff. Right, so we go to the right side. So we get one frog and now we have a second summon, thanks to our granny. And um, then Dorga could take care of this guy, but you first want to move granny in the middle because then you get two skeletons. And now we have infinite summons on the board. And this game is over, even though it might not be super obvious. But the lightning victory counter says three, so we, we have infinite time. The only thing we need to do right now is just like move slowly to the front and not get too bored while doing it. Yeah, our units are not taking any damage because the opponent is always going to focus on the summons. So, like I said, this match is already won, even though it might not be super obvious. Alright, so here we go. This is the last turn, I think. Yeah, it is the last turn. Alright, and that's common encounter number three. Like I said, you need to make sure that you have enough summons on the right side of the board. Otherwise, you have like minor problems uh, making sure that you're not getting hit. All right, that's basically it for all of the common encounters. So let's continue with the uncommon encounters. That's uncommon encounter number one. This is another one that I had to play twice. Um, if I see it, I can tell you guys why. Uh, actually, I should change the should change the description on the side, huh? Um, uncommon encounter number one. All right. So here we have to. I didn't even see that. Did I? Did I click on everything? I don't know. Um, play light units. Okay. Oh, this is a little bit harder. Yeah. So the problem is you cannot connect with almost any unit with the exception of Sir Matt and Ar Areus. Areus. So this seemed pretty straightforward. Now the problem is that um, this guy, Harun, can take out a summon and then we're taking some damage. Now normally this would be a gigantic problem if the bonus condition said we cannot take any damage. That is not what these are saying. They are saying that it depends on the health at the end of the game. So we can just heal up Sir Matt again and then after that we go ham and since all of our units are at the end of the battle back at 100% life we do get the full score. So don't be, uh, don't worry if you're like oh my god I took some damage. Not a big deal. You can take some damage. You just need to make sure that afterwards you're healing up again. So this is how you get the perfect score in Uncommon Encounter number one. Then we continue with Uncommon Encounter number two. So here we go. In this encounter. You need to get a lightning victory. You need to play only horses. And then you also need to deploy warriors. So this is something where if you happen to have Akio, these levels tend to be a lot easier. But even without Akio, they are definitely uh, possible because you also have Silverwood if you participated in, in some of the last few festivals. So Silverwood is also quite cool, uh, generally speaking. So I thought about what can I play. Oh, it's always a challenge to find warriors that are also mounted. So you're looking down and up and down again. And also in these levels in this festival, Lionet is pretty good. I know. A lot of people are saying, who? What unit? What? Lionet. She's, she's relatively good in this adventure, in all of the levels where you have to have mounted warriors. I know, hearsay, hearsay. Um, yeah, exactly, who? I know, I know. 
So we can already see the setup here. This is like a perfect setup for Lionhead. And taking out two opponents is uh, actually quite good. Especially if you can then generate two summons and then you have Akio to take out two more opponents and then you have Silverroot to clear up everything that is still standing. You've boycotted Silverroot but are playing a unit that isn't in the game. Yeah, I know. Some would call it cheating and they would not be wrong to be honest. They would not be wrong. So um, we can see that here. This is pretty much over after the first attack. We can see very clearly this, is, this fight is over. It, it, you don't have to have like a super strong um, Akio, you just have to have these four units and then it's always very very easy. So this is the uncommon encounter number two. Which takes us to uncommon encounter number three. Um, so let's go, this is the uncommon encounter number three. So this time, what do we have to do? We have to play Light units, okay, that's generally speaking that is easy enough, especially if you don't have to play that many. In this level you only have to play zero. What? It's a bit weird. <clears throat> Hello. So, oh, this is one of the harder levels, yeah. I had, to, I had to take two attempts, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out the second time around. So the first time the problem is obviously that there's like a cluster in the middle and you cannot really connect with anybody. But the second attempt was pretty successful. After giving this a little bit of thought, I felt like I had the correct strategy. I don't remember what the correct strategy was. I think I played Hana, so I can heal up my units again after they after they took some damage. And then I ended up not needing Hana and uh, just <laughs> just going in. I mean, that's how, how it happens sometimes. Uh, Monty, generally speaking, is pretty good here. Um, because you can replace units, get them out of the bush, and uh, that can actually be important. So, Areos, again, is pretty good in this festival. At least at the first couple of encounters. And now we can see that Monty can take out one unit. And then also he can replace this guy. Which is cool because then we can get more horses in the back. And now we're good. This is a really good spot. Because the opponent needs to focus on the horses no matter what they want to do. And now we got total field control. So that means we can we can attack them. We can shoot them. We can attack them with, with Sir Matt. There's a lot of things that we can do to them. We can make their life miserable. So that's the perfect score in Uncommon Encounter number 3. So this is basically it already for the common and uncommon encounters. This is what I normally would have uploaded to YouTube. Uh, this time around this is gonna be it, a bit more rough. I'm just gonna upload this. And we can continue with the rare encounters which I started tackling earlier today. So, this is the first rare encounter in this level. You need to not take any damage. No, Lightning Victory. Yeah. And then only play Mounted Heroes. Lionet did not cross my mind. Yeah, I know. No, nobody thinks of Lionet. My Lionet is only good because sometimes I need her for Onslaught. So I, I actually do put some, some work into Lionet. Not a lot. Not a lot. But uh, some... I know. They're going to kick me out of Eternal Nexus if they hear this. I don't hate the unit completely. I mean, I'm still disappointed about it. But um, I don't hate it completely. So, horses, back to Akio, back to Yasmin, possibly Silverwood. Those are the, the three horses that always come to mind to me. Uh, four horses? I think that was four. True. <laughs> yeah, Thundergate is already preparing everything. He's like, yeah, let's, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, and then, again, this is pretty straightforward. Most of these levels are. So, for, for many of these levels, you do not need to finish the opponent on the very first turn. You can just get the horses out. Who let the horses out? Who? Who? Okay, this is not a song, I guess. Uh, it would have been better to first move in with Yasmin, so you're blocking one of the spots. And then, for whatever reason, I went for the refresh right away. Honestly, I can't tell you why. Um, oh yeah, I, I can actually tell you why. Because I was afraid that Yasmin would get lightning caged, or magic caged, or whatever you want to call it, caged. So now we can go for summons again, and we have one. I mean, we have uh, two more turns for the lightning victory. I was hoping that I could break the cage here, because then with Akio power, uh, this, this match would have been over. But even without, it's fine. The horses are just handling the opponent. So this was the first rare encounter. Was it my first attempt or my second attempt? I think this was my first attempt on this level. Generally speaking, I think a lot of these are pretty straightforward. Although there is one rare encounter that I did not perfect score yet. So, second rare encounter. This time we need to get a lightning victory. Okay, I can already see that and play light units. Disappointed you aren't playing your max out Voyasa. Yeah, that's true. Um, 
I will start working on Voyasa when like every other unit that I wanted to work on is, is maxed out. Unless they, they change it. Unless they change Voyasa. Then I'm gonna think about it again. So this is a level that I watched actually earlier Aaron play and then I decided okay I should give this a try. Because it seemed pretty straightforward. So again, light units. Um, Arios is pretty good in this festival, generally speaking. And then you want to have Yasmin here. Oh, this is this is a fun level. Actually, this is very fun because Yasmin can heal. Um, and you you want to have a healer, a good healer, not Hana. So so Yasmin is the way to go here. Also, you want to buff someone, and I thought about um, buffing Arios. I think, yeah, I think that's why I rearranged the units. And then you need to count uh, spaces, so Tanamo can connect here with uh, one, two, three spots in front of her and then Somet can also connect with someone. So we go with Areos here on the right side, trigger the effect of Tanamo, then we go in, take almost everybody out on the right side, this is only possible if your Tanamo is like super strong. And now comes the challenging part, because you're wondering, huh, what do I do? with my Arios now. He's kind of in the corner and I don't want to move my Yasmin into the thorns because I cannot heal my Yasmin. So this was, this turned out to be a pretty cool solution because now we do not have perfect health but we can start running. We can just run away from the opponent and then we can also move Yasmin closer to Arios because we are setting up for a heal. So now the opponent does not get destroyed, fortunately, by my summons. That means I can move Areos next to Yasmin. Yasmin can heal Areos back up. Every unit now has 100% health. I can take care of the opponent. And now I got all the health in the world and I can get the perfect score. I quite like this approach. This was pretty sneaky. So the, a cool way to win this level and get the max points on it. All right. Rare encounter number three is coming up next. This is one that I only had to try once, as we can see here. When, whenever the there's no points when I open the level, that means it was my first attempt at the level. Nice one. Yeah, I, I like the strategy in the one before. I really like the strategy of just running away with Areos and then healing him up again. Because I like it didn't immediately be my... I, I wasn't immediately like, ah, yeah, this is obvious. You just have to heal him up and, and it's fine. But I, it, it just turned out I played it and I'm like, oh, wait, I can do this. This is fine. Alright, so we need to play Mounted Heroes and we need to play Warriors, so again, Akio is good, um, Silver Root is good, Yasmin is good, and again, Lionet is good. There's another level where Lionet seems pretty cool, because the opponents have very nicely Lionet up for us. Lionet up instead of lined up, okay, I'm not explaining my jokes anymore. So, uh, the one unit, <laughs> whew, yeah, the one unit that you can ignore is this mage at the top, because this mage more often than not, will go for his uh, magical cage. So you can ignore him because he's not doing any damage to your units. So you only need to worry about all of the other guys at the bottom. So this was my setup. I quite like this. This seemed pretty straightforward after rearranging the units a little bit to uh, buff Silver Root. And then we can move Yasmin out of the way. Don't need to attack, just move her out of the way. Then Lionel can go in, uh, take two opponents out. This is this is how good Lionel is. Just like, gets rid of opponents like nothing. And then we can start demolishing opponents. <clears throat> so it's just a question of who is attacking where. Akio can take out this guy. Looks good. Silverroot can take out this guy with a regular attack if he's not super weak for whatever reason. And then we move to the bottom and create our summons. And now we can pass play after getting an attack in with Harun. So Harun is going to focus on a summon. This guy is not even doing anything for whatever reason. So now we can refresh Matt Toys with Yasmin and then get two more summons. And now we have three summons that can connect with the opponent and an Akio. I mean, doesn't get more straightforward than that. This is very easy max points in this level. Even without Akio you can max points this level. Uh, Silver Root would have gotten the job done as well. So, so this doesn't seem out of the question to uh, get the max points in this level. <coughs> Rare encounter number four is the only rare encounter that I did not perfect score yet. Um, and to be honest, I'm not 100% sure I can do this without putting some more work into my uh, Radiant Order units because my Radiant Order units did not receive a whole lot of love so far. 
Uh, this is my best attempt. I'm getting 400 or 500 points. So I, I did get the, the max points, but not the lightning victory. Nobody took any damage or if they took damage, I was uh, healing it up again. Um, I tried a couple of strategies already. I tried this level three times. Um, what is not working, in case you're wondering, is sending Areos uh, through the portal and then doing the special of Areos on these guys. They will all survive and Areos will die a very premature death. So don't go for that. You need to control the board. You need to start from the left side and work your way towards the right side. Generally speaking, this is your general approach. Uh, Secret is, for some reason, strong enough to take out these tunes at the bottom. I was quite surprised about that. And then... I think I blocked the portal, if I remember correctly. Oh no, I went for horses first. Okay. And then Arius is just doing a regular attack. <clears throat> yep. And then Hannah blocks the portal, so nobody's uh, sneaking through the portal. So the opponents are mostly, mostly busy with the horses. Although they also t uh, t do some damage to Sir Matt, which is not a problem because we can heal Sir Matt. I explained this before. And now the question is only how do we attack and in what order do we attack. So, we get rid of this guy with Sir Matt, who heals himself. Then, I think I got rid of the snake with Hannah, if I remember correctly. Big problem, we, we can see here. Th this is the problem with Sigrid. Sigrid is just not mobile enough to connect with the opponents again. You can just move in closer and that's pretty much it. So, Hannah takes down the snake, just so we can easier connect with our special of Arios with the guys in the back. I think. I think so, yeah. I think it's a chain lightning time. Also, I was wondering, is the chain lightning going to take out the snake? Unfortunately, it's not. Yeah, now, Arios almost dies, but not quite. And now this is the turn. This this would have been the turn for chain lightning, I guess. Um, but hindsight is 2020. Or if you do a crit hit on this guy with uh, Sir Matt. Or if you attack with Hannah. Actually, there's a couple of options here. This is definitely the worst job ever. This is the worst attack that, that I could have done. Alright, and here I was hoping I can just heal him up and everything is going to be fine, but the problem is the lightning victory is gone. So I think I'm not killing him? Oh no, I am killing him. Okay. I'm not entirely sure. So this is hardly a perfect attempt. I'm not sure why I get 400 points, to be honest. Um, yeah, the lightning victory was the problem here. Alright, so this is the level I didn't, I didn't um, get the perfect score yet. I think in this turn I made a crucial mistake. I should have just attacked with Areos into one of these two guys. And then the next turn, if we have a similar setup to what we ended up with here. I mean, this just screams Chain Lightning. This just screams Chain Lightning. And then after that, you can actually do a couple of things because Hannah can go in, Hannah can uh, take out a snake or whatever. And then Sir Matt can take out whatever is uh, still left. And um, yeah, so there's a, there's a couple of options here. Have you tried to summon knights in Seat and then attack him with range and kill him? No snakes summoned. Summon knights into Seat and then attack him with range and kill him. Oh, that's an interesting strategy. I didn't try this. Maybe we can try this uh, later. Okay. Thank you very much for the for the idea. So rare encounter number five, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it didn't upload into the cloud yet. So let's just get my phone out and look at the recordings. So we can, yeah, we can actually play this back on my phone which is even weirder than what we did so far. We might not have sound for this. So this is, this is my, this is not my phone. Is it my phone? What is this? Uncommon encounter number two, common encounter number three. Here we go. This is my phone. This looks like my phone. All right. When you use Hannah's cure, she, be sure she's next to some other heroes. It improves the amount. Yes. Yeah, good point. Good point. I keep forgetting how Hannah works because I just never use Hannah for anything. All righty then. So this is rare encounter number five. Didn't upload into the cloud yet, but you guys can hopefully see how this works. I'm just gonna play it here and uh, go into full screen mode. Yeah, just double check that I record here. So we need to get a lightning victory um, and we only need to deploy light heroes. Can I get the sound on? Here we go. All right, so you wanna place units strategically which means, what did I, uh, light units, okay. So Areos again, is really good in this festival. I keep repeating myself. Question is which side, this side is better because Areos is doing massive damage against these uh, bulky warriors. So this side is the better side for Areos. Then you wanna play Yasmin because Yasmin is really good. Then you wanna play Tanamo because Tanamo is really good. Yeah, I know. 
said it before. Obviously you want to place her mat and then you just need one more unit. And then again, if I'm not 100% sure whether I need somebody else or not, Hannah is a good option because you can heal back up. And Seat is also a good option because you can create summons with Seat. So generally speaking, the strategy is somewhat clear. I think I make a misplay here, but I think I still got the perfect score somehow. All right, so Chain Lightning almost gets rid of everybody, almost, but everybody's set up for a kill by Tanamu, so that's already cool. And I was a bit surprised I didn't expect this much damage. Um, but now we got Seat. Uh, this is a misplay. I should not have... I should have not uh, gone for the special of Seat. I should have just done the regular attack. So now we, we take some damage here with Areos, but it's not a big deal because we have Yasmin and Yasmin can heal. So we can heal Areos back up, take out one tune, take out the other tune. We don't even have to go for the horses. And then we get a lightning victory with a perfect score. So this was relatively easy so this is where i am right now so let's uh, let's go back to the game this is my progress in the festival uh we we just saw this uh, we have perfect scores all around with the exception of the rare encounter number four but i really like the suggestion of using the knights into seard and then attacking him with range and kill him didn't think of that maybe we can try this um i think i cannot record while i'm I, well, I have the thing uh, connected. So let's just go back to rare encounter number four and give this a try. I have one more ticket. All right. So Davidson says, oh, that, that, yeah, that makes a lot of sense to be honest. I didn't think of this at all. This is so smart. It's, it's also really smart level design, I have to say. So we can just warp through the portal with Sir Matt. Um, from one side to the other and then attack Seat and all the three spots next to Seat are blocked so he cannot even summon any snakes. This is a really good idea. No adds left. What do you mean? Oh, adds. Oh, I do have a couple of adds left, but I don't want to play adds when I'm streaming. Did this once or twice and then I decided, yeah, this is not the way to go. Um, then the other question is, who else do we play? Ready and order so we can only play Monty instead of Hannah. I think this makes more sense to go with this uh, lineup. Alright, so we want to do Sigrid, this is pretty straightforward. Really. Really. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, this is great. This is great strategy. I love it. Love it so much. Oh my god! <laughs> Getting demolished. Okay, so what can we do here? We can get rid of this guy. Can we get rid of anybody? Jesus Christ, these units are so weak. It's ridiculous. So we have how many turns? Let me just double check. Two more turns to get a lightning victory. And infinite snakes in front of us. Ah. Uh. Chain lightning, maybe? Oh, we can't get a chain lightning because this guy is in the way. Okay, let's try this. Chain lightning here. Cool, that looks good. Okay, so now we need to go for the mass heal. And then after the mass heal, we just need to connect with this guy. Come on, Sigrid, crit hit. No, no. Okay, this is definitely the better strategy. I think if I don't have to go for Hannah in the first turn and take out one of the tunes at the bottom with Hannah, and instead I can go right into the opponents on the other side. We can do this. We can. This is definitely the better strategy. So close. I really need some love. Actually, I'm waiting for the festival to provide me with another Radiant Order emblem. Uh, let me see. Where's, uh, where's Arius? Where is he? Jeez, I have to scroll so much. Here we go. Um, I just need one more Radiant Order. And um, then I can actually... I think it's fine to ascend him. Because there's no other light unit. I don't I don't need the light essences for anybody right now. Um, because I'm not interested in pushing Harun anytime soon. No. No, I, I'm okay. Harun can just stay where he is. With his level 3 level skills and everything. It's fine. The way he is, he's fine. Fine. Alright. So what do we do? Do we play some more adventure? And drop some gems on this? Um, we also have Onslaught. I have two Onslaught tickets, which, which I can try. Although Onslaught right now is uh, it's not that fun to watch. Onslaught is, is total destruction half the time. 
And then there's also Arena, but I'm not sure what um, what my position is. I was first earlier, now I'm, now I'm sixth again. So I could actually uh, go and play one, one match of Arena or two, or maybe even three, but that's pretty much it. So you guys have the choice. Guild Raid. <laughs> I can't play Guild Raid. I don't have a ticket. Also, they're gonna kick me out of the team if I if I ever start playing Guild Raid on the stream. At least if I'm being competitive about it. So what, what do you guys say? Do we want to keep going in the adventure? Or do we want to... I, I didn't watch the last couple of levels. I couldn't. I, I, I mean, I watched half of it. That's really true. Yeah, I mean, it's not... Uh, it's not fun if people are like investing tons of their time to come up with the best strategies for Guild Raid. And then we're just like, yeah, let's, let's give it all away for free. That's uh, it's not exactly fun. So guys, come on. Do we want to vote? We can also vote if you want. I don't mind. Let me check. I know things. Um, dum 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 dum. Manage goals. Hold on. Where where is? Where's start poll? I don't have a poll. This is weird. Does this have something to do with the level you are at Twitch? Because I, I I can do polls on my channel. OS? What is OS? Like this oh, oh oh onslaught. Yeah, okay. Well we can we can play onslaught, I'm not in. So, onslaught. We are currently playing encounter number five, which is the easy version of Brack Lake Outpost, because they got fixed. The the difficulty got adjusted. I believe, I'm not 100% sure, um, I believe that I managed to beat Brackleg Outpost 4 be before, I, no, I think I, I did it after the update. Uh, okay, so, Onslaught, um, Brackleg Outpost Encounter 5. Now this is going to be so much fun. <clears throat> um, okay, so, we have infinite waves of opponents, uh, mostly uh, summons, so... Runner Clue is good against them, and then also Bullmon is good against them. And then the problem is Gunners. The problem is always Gunners. Uh, and this time they are Diamond Rank Gunners. Uh, whereas in the last encounter, Breakless Outpost 4, there were a lot more Gunners, but at least they were like Silver Rank 2 or something like that. So you could at least get rid of them. This time you get a lot of summons, more summons, more summons. And then everyone, uh, actually here, this is not summons, this is gunners. This is all, This is the main problem, wave number five, with these stupid gunners. I hate the gunners so much. All right. On the bright side, we got uh, 23 units. And the units that are that are able to play this, they're getting stronger by the second. Like my Servitus is soon gonna single-handedly, no, he's not, he's not. We're not, we're not even remotely close to single-handedly anything. So I think this was my strategy last time and I quite liked it. <clears throat> um, you wanna get the Darkness core squad on one side and then on the other side you wanna go in with Dorga and Bulmon. That's the idea. Uh, very soon I'm going to have Nimrul at power 5000 or more and then Nimrul can also help me set up Darkness and get, get like some more summons in and everything. I think this is the strategy I was going for. Let me just in improve the lighting here a little bit. I don't see anything. Okay, it doesn't really matter where they spawn. So, uh, here we can just move Bulmon one step. Move here, start creating darkness. A um, little bit more to the front, should be fine. Kuna Keshu can move a little bit to the front and then Ranaklu wants to get into the position. All right. Oh yeah, this was one of the problems. I remember now, cool. Good, good job, Oli. Uh, the problem is if you're not immediately getting up with Bulmon, you have to get into the thorns with Bulmon, which is not, generally speaking, the, the best idea. Yeah, that's okay. So now we can eat two of these guys. We can go for the Orga special and hopefully get two frogs. That's not two frogs, that's not a good thing. And then we can start doing some damage. I think the gunners are coming after this turn, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. Why did I even ask? Okay. So we can give them hammer time now, which seems like a good choice. Yeah, one of them in the back is not getting hammer time, but that's okay. 
So next turn we want to go for Runner Clue Special. We do not want to do this this turn already. Okay, now the question is who are the gunners gonna shoot? Yeah, Bullmoon is dead. Okay, cool. Good run. Ah, geez, so frustrating. Okay, uh, here I think we want to go for Tim Tim? I think Tim Tim is fine here. Okay. Actually, I should be happy that um, Umano is still alive. So now we can spread the darkness some more. By walking backwards? Yeah. And then we can create a lot of shades. And in theory we can create even even more shades. But I think this should be fine. Uh, is where is Queen Okay, sure. okay so let's go this way. Cool. Does it make more sense to move to the left with Runner Clue and abandon the right side? I think so, right? Yeah, we have so many shades on the right side, this should be fine. So, Dogger can take one guy out. If we're assuming that the gunners are only going to go for the summons, which is very often the case... Oh, we can actually go for Dogger special. Oh no, we don't go can go for Dogger special. Let's take out this guy. And let's shoot this guy from a distance. This seems like the best approach. Yeah, crit. Okay, yeah. Now we're in business. We're actually in business. We did lose Bullmon very early, so this is pretty shitty. But other than that, we are in a pretty good uh, spot right now. So now we only need Yasmin to refresh the effect. Oh, actually here, we can even go for Runner Clue here on the other side. So Runner Clue is even more safe now. I thought for a second he's going to, like, one-shot kill him. So Tim Tim just stays where he is. Uh, you are going to give us another shade? Yeah, why not? Actually, we still have the special of Queen Akeshro. Let's spread some more darkness love and get a crit hit in. Yeah, we still have all of our units with the exception of Pullman at the very beginning. And Dorga is continuing to get her sidestep program in. So, overall, this is looking pretty good. Like, all things considered. I mean, obviously we're dying. But, um, but we're dying slower than usual. Crit. That's exactly what I needed. So, we can get rid of the skeleton that is um, between the two gunners. But if we do get rid of the skeleton, Queen Akeshro is very likely going to die to a gunner. Like, the first gunner is not going to kill her, very likely. Uh, actually, they are in darkness. They have to get close to her. I think this is fine. Oh, come on! <sighs> this is not good. Okay, Tim Tim can use his special to damage two of these guys. Or take out one of them at least. And Dogger really needs to get out of the way. Oh, we can we can warp. We can warp. So Runner Clue could move to the front and get rid of the guy that here, this guy, where we're doing 152. Now that looks like a very tempting proposal. The problem is we're 100% going to lose Runner Clue afterwards. And I think it is more important to not lose Runner Clue. <laughs> Ooh, really, Oli? Yeah, I think it's more important to not lose Runner Clue. Uh, the main problem is Dogger cannot retreat fast enough. Because uh, there's, there's darkness on the spot where Runner Clue is in. So Dogger can only move one step backwards. Or move to the front, which uh, is uh, suicide. But there's actually, we have one more turn before... A million skeletons are approaching again. So let's let's move to the back. And I think I'm just going to keep Runner Clue where he is right now, right? Yeah, I think this is fine. Okay, so now the gunners are going to be a problem. Yeah, but at, le at least we still have uh, Queen Akeshro. So there is a chance that at the start of the turn the darkness is going to disappear, at least some of it. Um, which means that Giggs would be able to throw his bomb at the front. Um, there is also a chance that Giggs can actually water walk one, two, three spots and end up on the bridge. I'm not 100% sure about this. Um, but generally speaking, there is a chance that Giggs can somehow throw a bomb in this general direction. So I want to have Giggs here. Um, on this side, there's, there's no hope. There's no hope here. 
Um, Archeo, yeah, well, where? Why not? Let's. Okay, so we did not get lucky in terms of the Gigs bomb, and we can also not connect with any shades. This is not good news. So it's time to retreat. Uh, let's move to the back. Yeah, so this time we can get rid of one of the skeletons. And the problem is Giggs is dead. Like, Giggs is not doing anything. However, the good news is that um, the darkness is going to stay for another turn. So Giggs is, if we move Giggs to the back, Giggs can definitely survive another turn. Like, 95%. And always it's all about having Summon Cleaner active. Yeah, it is, it is. I mean, that's, like I said, uh, when Bullmon died, it, it seemed pretty pretty bad for us, obviously. So let's get, get this guy off the board at least. And Runner Clue can move to the back. So he's more likely to survive another turn. Yeah, okay, so now the darkness is going to disappear. Yes, it is gone. Actually, this is good news. Uh, or this is good to know that the darkness is always clearing before you do the hero selection. So now you know 100%, okay, the darkness is going to be gone. Cool. Um, so there is no summons in front of, um, on the right side. So that means that Granny is a good choice. And we can, generally speaking, we could get on the high ground. Um, yeah, this seems fine. Come on, you can die, right? What's your life? You got 489 and we got 5 something. Yeah, okay, cool. So, there is a world where I'm risking this. Uh, this. This is not happening today. So, good news on the right side, there's infinite opponents. Um, that are gonna be turned by Runner Clue. Eventually. And Dorga just continues her sidestep. Queen active, sorry, no longer around. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, didn't want to go for the Queen active. Uh, first of all, I'm not killing anybody. And second of all, I don't want to have more darkness. Actually, right now I wanted to get rid of the darkness so, so Giggs could do something. I mean, he didn't do much, but at least there's a chance for summons. There's a chance for summons. Uh, Dorga, do you want to go to the right side? No, let's just keep on the left side. Wow, Katsume. You almost made a dent. So, on this side, I mean, this looks like a situation for uh, uh, the special of Naivis. This looks like I need a ranged attacker. Well, actually, I can move in the middle. Actually, I can move with uh, Akio in the middle and attack the bridge. So, if I first do this and then attack, I can get rid of one of these guys. Would've been cool to have Granny still around. Um, so, now the problem is, if we go in with Runner Clue, we are placing Runner Clue in the Thorns, which means Runner Clue is dead. So let's first go for Naivis special. For absolutely no effect. And then hope that, miraculously... Oh, actually? Don't wanna go for... Oh, I can't go for Dogger special. Dogger, is, Dogger is, has already attacked. <sighs> okay, uh, I mean Akio, sorry, Akio, to get rid of the summons and then I create another summon with uh, Runner Clue. That would have been interesting. Could have been interesting. I don't think this would have worked out. On the other hand, my summons are dead anyway. This would have been the better option. So I think Dogger needs to flee to the other side. And then Runner Clue needs to hide in the corner and try to survive somehow. Yeah, I think he's dead. Oh, he's surviving. What is this? Opponents are weakening. Uh, okay, so now we can get Sir Matt. And we could go for a second Dogger special here. Which sounds like a plan? I mean, if not now, then when? Okay, so you can move to the front. Create some summons at the front. You can go to the back. And create some summons at the back. One summon in the back. You can move and kill this guy with a crit hit. Where's my crit hit? And Runner Clue can just hide in the corner and turn these guys into summons. If my Runner Clue was like super strong, this would be the, the funny, funniest way to win this level. Just have Runner Clue hide in the most remote corner and then just turn one guy into a shade every turn. 
Um, okay, this is over. Unfortunately, all my good units are gone. We do have a Tanamu. Okay, so there's there's one more good unit. Yeah, I don't even have space to spawn my units. What is this? Oh, here, yeah, yeah, sure. This this is the space I wanted. Oh, I can spawn at the front. Cool. We're learning new things. Uh, yeah. Why not? Cool. I think I did mention this is over, right? Uh, you Jesus, two of them together cannot take out this one guy. <sighs> oh man, onslaught! The the frustrating thing is that the encounter number four was really hard, and after forever, I clean out encounter number four, and I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe encounter number five is a little bit more forthcoming with the level design and everything. So th there is a chance that somehow I'm going to like at least like do something in this encounter and then look at this. Look at this. Oh, Servitus is now on. Game time. Uh, oof, Lionel. Yay. Wow. Like, I feel a bit claustrophobic when I see this. So, can we get rid of anybody here? Maybe of this skeleton. No, actually, we can first use Paris special. Yeah. That's gonna make a difference here. Yeah. Actually, we can get rid of one guy. No, oh, it's... Co come on. Okay, so what what is what is required in this level is a level 50 Tanamo active. Come on, Lionel. Yay! Good job. Oops. I misclicked. Doesn't really matter, I think. Okay, Servitus. Time to shine. Yeah. Two waves. Man. Onslaught is really hard. Also, I love how the sound just drops. They're like, yeah, okay, you don't deserve any more music. Not even sad music or anything. They're just like, yeah, this this party is over. Alright. Um, uh, I actually, I don't want to try this again. <laughs> I think this is the first time I'm like, out of my own free will, I'm like, I don't want to play Onslaught anymore. I'm good. I'm good. Um, right. So, what do we do? You guys saw the other adventure levels. I mean, Aaron played them. So we, we can either... I mean, I can I can drop some gems and we can try to uh, also look at the epic encounters and possibly the legendary encounter if I get good scores in the other epic encounters. Or we can just call it a day. I'm flexible. It's pretty late over here. But I can I can play a little bit more. So what do you say? What say you? We also rare again. You can do it. What well, I mean? Do you mean the rare encounter that I didn't I didn't finish before? Let me let me switch into this. Don't wanna I don't wanna bore you guys with the with the ads. Let, let's let's finish the rare encounters. Let's finish the rare encounters. If anybody has any other ideas, we can uh, we can also try this. One hundred percent. Yeah, I want I want to one hundred percent everything. Obviously, although um, I didn't look at the bonus conditions for the epic encounters. So if in the epic encounters you have to um, you have to play Radiant Order, there's like zero percent chance that I can perfect score it, and unless I come up with some really crazy strategy, which I which I don't really see. I don't really see yet. All right. So, is there anything else we can do? So we don't need more power for Hannah because Hannah is not attacking. We cannot get anything else done for Sir Matt because Sir Matt is maxed out. Actually, you can, you can get a better, better crit chance. Sure, sure, why not? Um, that's it. He can heal more, but nobody cares. Also, I don't have any gold. And Arius, man, one more emblem. Uh, 
he does he, does do we have anything better for him? We have an uncommon ruby red rope. <laughs> Look at this, there's a legendary <laughs> rope waiting. There's epic ropes where uh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> this uncommon unit. Okay. Okay. Let's let's try again. Like like Thunder said, the strategy was good. The strategy was good. We just need a little bit more luck. Maybe we just need to crit. Maybe, but uh, the horses cannot crit. All right, let's try this one more time. Also, Sigrid. I played this level four times. Sigrid was all always cleaning out everybody at the bottom, and then suddenly she's starting to struggle. You kidding me or what? How much re uh, reach does Hannah have? Or range? Three? I think three feels right. One, two, three. Okay, I think Hannah needs to go here. Doesn't really matter, but I think this is better. Okay, so come on, you can take them out, right? Crit. That's it. And we want to move some up here. Does this matter? I think it's fine. Okay, so we cannot kill him yet. Oh, now we can kill him. Maybe, maybe with Hannah. Crit. Ah, with the assist. Hannah with the assist. Game MVP. Alright, let's see. What, what are our summons doing? Okay, that, is, that doesn't matter whatsoever. Because we can heal Sir Matt, is what I was about to say. Okay, this is not great. Um, also not the end of the world. So we can do some damage with Hannah here. Actually, what, what can you do? You can get rid of this guy. This is the most dangerous guy here. You can go for a chain lightning, I guess. Do we want to take the chain lightning? Yeah. Yeah, let's try and get rid of these guys. Come on. Oh, come on, Hannah, come on. Oh, Hannah's the MVP here. No! Ah, no! Ah, I need this one more emblem. It's going to make the entire difference. Uh, all the difference in the world. Look at Hannah. Look at Hannah go. Okay. Ah. So the strategy is fine. Hannah has to. Uh, thanks. The strategy is fine. How do we get our horses to survive one more hit? We don't, right? What is my... Uh, he is rare, right? Yeah, he is rare, of course, 26. Um, is there any other order of attacks? Or is Monty better for whatever reason? I mean, Hannah was like the MVP in this game just now. Hannah, let, let, me, let me watch in the ad. Hannah seemed like the MVP in this match. Um, she took out like three units or something. I think I can level her up now. <laughs> so, um, what's wrong with the strategy? There's, is there something wrong with the strategy, rather? I mean, we don't have like a whole lot of, of uh, leeway. We cannot, we cannot play any other unit with the exception of Monty, of course. Also, this is so bad. <laughs> just this, these super easy games where they're always like, can you do better? And you're like, yeah, I can, but I'm not going to click on this. Um, all right, let's go back to this. Uh, it still says Onslaught. Let me see. Come on. Uh, perfect scores, rare encounters. And then we got missing rare encounter four. Rare encounter four is the Monty to take out Seer with class bonus. Yeah, but then I can't heal. And Areos was taking damage. I'm, I'm still not. Um, I'm still not sure if I if I need um, if I need heal. And Monty also takes out one opponent per turn. Let's see. Come on, we can do this. True, true. I think we need the heal. So, I think, I think there's a chance 
that you don't go with Sigrid to the bottom, but rather with Sigrid to the top. You take out the guy with the sword, and the mage is going to give Sigrid hammer time. So Sigrid is not taking any damage. Arius does the chain lightning on the bottom. Um, oh, but if Arius does the chain lightning on the bottom, we cannot take out Seat. Yeah, okay, forget about this. This is a terrible idea. I never said this. We need to do, like the, the order, the move order was fine. The order of the moves was, maybe we need to move Sir Matt to the front because he can take more hits than, this, than, the, than the summons, the Holy Brothers. I think this is probably it. Okay, so let's see. So you want to take these guys out? Cool. And, ah, oh, misplaced Hannah. I can still get there? How? Oh, I'm going to... Oh my god, yeah, this is suicide for Hannah. Good job, Oli. Yeah, focus on Samad. Hit him, hit him, he can do this. Oh, no! No! Ah! No! No! Ah, Jesus! Okay, this is a really good level. There's so many takeaways. I like this. Uh, we're still not surrounded by enemies. Come on, crit. Can somebody crit? Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is the dumbest. I hate high grass. Okay. So, we need to get the positioning right at the very beginning. Obviously. We need to get the positioning right at the very beginning. But um, if, if we do get the positioning right... With Hannah at the bottom right, so Hannah can connect with Seat without having to warp through the portal and then getting brutally slaughtered. These guys should be ashamed of themselves. It's a girl that is supposed to be a healer. It's like, like you, you don't attack the opponent's uh, medical guys. It's not, it's not how this works. Okay, but if we get the, if we get the positioning right, um, we can do this. Let's just go out of this and then go back in. Because then it's, uh, if, if I ever cut this together, it's uh, better for this. Alright, so lightning victory, blah, 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 radiant order. Okay, let's do this. So, correct order. Hannah needs to be in here. Sigrid, wherever. Arius needs to go to the top spot. This is it. Also, it made a lot of sense to move uh, uh, Sir Matt to the front, so this was also correct. Okay, so you need to crit again. No, you need to crit again. Pay attention. Are you understanding what I'm saying to you? Okay. Oh, yeah. Everything is great now. Okay. On top of everything that we already learned, when it comes to positioning and everything, we also need to get lucky. Who came up with this encounter? Look at how we're getting slaughtered now. Even though we're, we're playing like almost the same strategy as before. Only difference is we didn't have luck. Ah, oh, jeez. Radiant Order. How are these the starting guys in this game? Uh, okay. I think, I think I'm not even finishing the level right now. I think the mage is doing the most damage. I think we need to get rid of the mage. Okay, the snakes are doing the most damage. <laughs> Stop hitting me! Warriors are so bad against uh, like a, a higher number of opponents. Also, do you ever block Sir Matt? This is like 40 million hits and you didn't block one attack? Really? Maybe someone with rare heroes? <laughs> That's true. Actually, considering that we don't have our daily limit reach, now I have to drop gems. Oh man, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. But the strategy was definitely fine. That's true. I, like, my heroes are not even rare, and I'm so close regardless. How close is... Okay, Hannah is... Hannah is actually rare. Look at this. I, I put work into Hannah. Do we have better weapons for her? No, we don't. This, uh... She's got the best equipment out of all of them. I'm not giving her a better ring. I don't care. Oh, actually, for this festival, I should. So she has a higher chance of critting. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing else we can do for Hannah. Arios is stuck as an uncommon. 
Uh, we cannot get him to rare. That's so sad. So sad. We just need one more Radiant Order emblem. It's also the last Radiant Order guy that I need to get to rare. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is actually correct. Right? Monty, you're rare. You are, you are rare. You're a treasure, my friend. You're so rare, you're a treasure. Huh. Man. One Radiant Order emblem. Is it in the store? For like a hundred gems? It would, it would almost be worth it, but I need to just play more adventure. I'm eventually going to... I'm eventually going to uh, find another emblem in this adventure. I'm very, I'm very hopeful. All right. Ah, this is such a bummer. I will, let, let's just drop 300 gems. We need to do this. We need to do this. Come on. Uh, come on. We need to get this done. Encounter number four. Ah. All right. This is the perfect lineup. We talked about this. Yes! So you wanna go to this spot. Hit them hard. Ha yeah, his, his uh, armor is gone. Come on. Yes! Okay, perfect setup. Perfect start. Stop killing my units! Stop killing horses. Okay, so what do we do now? You need to get in the game. For you to get in the game, you need to get rid of this other guy. Come on, get rid. With a crit, yes. Uh, oh my god, Sigrid, what are you doing? You need to kill this guy. Not 20 damage, you need to kill this guy. Are you paying attention? Oh my god. 20 damage. Here I was hoping this is it. Oh my god. And everything is gone, yeah. We we cannot do this. We need we need a rare um, Arius. And then the stronger chain lightning of the rare Areos is going to get us there. I think. I think. Oh, actually a rare secret would also be good. Let's just quickly check how close secret is to rare. Oh, I was expecting something else. I, I thought she's like, no chance. But there was an adventure for secret, so actually this makes sense. Oh, I can, I can level this up. How much is it? Yeah, who cares. Okay, so this should ensure that we're getting rid of the guys at the bottom. Um, 33%! Jesus! Warrior weapon with, with a higher crit chance than most of the um, rogue weapons. Okay. <sighs> this is tough. I feel like these 300 gems were a bit of a waste now. Alright, epic encounter number one. Uh, lightning victory. And mounted heroes. We can do this. So all of our units are starting at the bottom and there's infinite opponents. Really? That's weird. So we, we cannot get this done in one turn, but we have four turns for the lightning victory. So this is pretty cool. Um, mounted units. As I always forget, Tim Tim is mounted. So Tim Tim is an option here. And if we had someone that can create some more summons, that would be really good. So Tim Tim can, in theory at least, take out a lot of these opponents. We need someone to heal. Uh, we need someone with a lot of power. So all of this seems to make sense. And then maybe Servitus? Can, oh, Servitus can just get rid of Harun. Harun is basically taken out of the game if Servitus connects, which he will. I think that's it. So we can we can get rid of Harun. We don't have to worry about Harun because Servitus is going to take care of business. Then we can take a shot at all of the opponents at the top. Before we do that, we need to connect with Sir Matt. With the guy in the middle, so we give the opponent some summons to deal with. Um, then we have Yasmin. You mean Silverwood, not Servitus? Thanks, yeah. I, those two are the absolute same thing to me. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh, yeah, but but Servitus is the mount. It's not the mounted one. Silverwood is the mounted one. <sighs> that makes things a lot more complicated. 
Is that another mounted unit that I'm overlooking here? Lineage? <laughs> no. Uh, Voyasa is not a unit. My own Haroon. But my own Haroon is nowhere near epic, so that doesn't work. Okay. So I think I just need to get rid of the opponent's um, Haroon with my own Akio and with my own um, Yasmin. Let's try this. Why can I not move four spots? One, two, three. Oh, jeez, I can't count. Okay. So that means we need to move here. Okay. These guys don't look like they can take a lot of damage. So let's just go for the Tim Tim special. Okay, some of them died. Um, and then Harun. Yeah, Harun is going to be a problem. Now. Before he wasn't. Oh, critted. Yeah, another critted. And Silverwood can... Hopefully kill someone. Okay, Akio took some damage, but other than that, everybody's still fine. Oh, do I need to go for Akio's special? No. No. That doesn't make any sense. Huh. So we can get rid of one guy. Then Tim Tim can get rid of another guy. Then Sir Matt can get rid of another guy. And now we've killed so many guys that Silverwood hopefully says killing spree. No? Wow. Okay. So Silverwood is really not good in this level. Generally speaking, he's pretty good in campaign. But here I would say he's pretty bad. So we do get the lightning victory. And we keep all of our units. But we are hardly getting... I mean, 495. Interesting. It's not a bad run. But nowhere near a perfect run. I think if we're lucky with Yasmin buffing the right unit at the very f beginning, we can take out and a crit hit. We can take out the the guy at the bottom. If Silverwood is like higher leveled, not just for a 26, he can do a lot more damage. Um, we need an emblem for Aureus. But I mean, it's not a bad it's not a bad run whatsoever. Okay, encounter number two. We need to... Oh, God. Play Lightning Linux. Lightning Victory. Yeah, whatever. Uh, battle score. Uh, light Heroes. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, four of them. All right. So, the guys at the bottom are screaming Tanamo action and Areo's action. So, that, that should be take, taking care of them. Um, Adasi is going to be a problem. But... We do have a horse to handle that. So now we just need one more unit. Who is good? Um, <laughs> since we're talking about... Oh, interestingly enough, we could use our own Adasi. We can use our own Adasi to get the opponent's Adasi out of the corner. And after we get him out of the corner, we can get two horses. That's a pretty good strategy, right? So let's try this. We're not playing Adasi because he's strong, because he isn't. Um, oh, do we want to get the guy in the corner out of the corner? <laughs> in the upper right corner. I think that's even better. Because then Adasi is a bit more safe. Alright, so let's try this. So you're going with your chain lightning to the bottom. Tanamo is just going to clean up. Actually, I don't even think I need to get any setup. I think my Tanamo is just so strong she can just take out this guy regardless okay so now we move him out of the corner and now we can get the horses in the front and now Adazi's not focusing on a summon for whatever stupid reason oh my god oh okay we can do this with a perfect score i like my strategy Okay, let's try this again. Take two. 
Epic encounter number two. Lightning victory. 100 per star and then deploying light heroes. Okay, so I think that my Arios actually doesn't really need to do anything here. But um, let's just do this regardless. Yeah. So we need to get as far away as possible from the opponent's Adasi. So the opponent's Adasi is focusing on my summons. That's the idea. So now he cannot connect... I mean, in theory, he could walk three spaces up to Sir Matt and then he could do the Meteor on Sir Matt. Sure. Not going to happen. So how much range do you have? Ah, oh, that works. No, that does not work. Two. Good to know. So this should, f this should be fine. Yeah, now he's going for a horse. And we can take him out and get the perfect score. So the, the trick was to move Areos to the bottom right and make sure that Adasi cannot connect with Areos. But then we got this with a perfect score. Cool. The third epic encounter requires us to play, get a lightning victory and then only deploy warriors. Any warrior. Okay. Cool. Sounds, sounds doable. Um, where are we? We are actually... Matois's adventure. Now we're at Epic Encounter 3, I think. So we need to play Warriors. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4 spots. And there's a Tanamo who can otherwise who can do some damage to us. So we want to get rid of Tanamo on the very first turn, that's important. Um, it should be relatively easy because we get two attacks with summons. And then after the summons we can send we can use Akio to send the summons in again. And then on the following turn, if we want to, if we have to, we can use Yasmin to get in again. Again, again. So, Sir Matt, let's move him to the middle. Um, another warrior. I just talked about Akio. Maybe move him here. And then we need one more warrior. Um, hmm. Silver Road, maybe? So if we focus all of our efforts on the bottom... It's not... it's not great. But we can... So we can take one guy out with the summons. We can attack Tanamo with Yasmin, so she runs away. Then we can go for Akio. That means Tanamo is dead, the guy in front of Sir Matt is dead, one more guy is dead, three guys are dead. And then we send in Silverwood. And Silverwood hopefully kills the other two guys. That's the strategy. And then if the guy survives, which is likely, he is going to focus on Sir Matt if we move our units correctly. And then we can heal Sir Matt with Yasmin, get fresh horses, and win the match in, with, a, with a lightning victory. That's the idea. So the only X factor is whether we can take care of one of these uh, guys at the bottom. I think this is fine. I think this should work. Especially since we're buffing Silver... Yeah, let's, let's go for this. Let's see. So you want to go here. Okay, so this is going to be a bit problematic. Um, Tanamo cannot move, so this is good. You cannot do much. Tanamo is just going to go ham, right? Very likely. Yeah, let's hope he survives one turn. I'm not convinced that he's going to survive one turn. Oh, my, my silver is dead. Oh, he's a wife. Okay, cool. So... Ah, I can't heal up silver root now. And I don't get fresh summons. Not the correct choice of units. It appears. So Tanamo cannot die. This guy cannot die. Jesus! Yes. 
Can you die? Okay. Hardly a perfect score. 480 at least. Huh. It said warriors, it didn't say it mounted, right? Oh, ah, no, not an essence! We need an emblem! No! Uh, what did it say? It said warriors. Okay, it was warriors. Is there another warrior that could have done a better job here? There's a lot of uh, levels where Harun would be re. Oh, Harun is really good. Um. Taro could have been okay if his shield is leveled up enough, but unfortunately it's the it's the epic encounter. If this was like an uncommon encounter, Taro would be absolutely great. Because Taro could just say Tanamo is out of the game for one turn. So, uh, but, but since it's the epic encounter, he doesn't do much. Boulder could heal himself. Meh. Meh. And I think that's it. I mean, there's also Bulmon. Does Bulmon can just eat Tanamo, right? But Tanamo has enough health. Even if I were to upgrade Bulmon a couple more times, I don't think this would work out. Yeah. I think you need to go for summons and you need to go for Akio on the first turn. I, I think those two uh, things are 100% uh, the way to go. And then if you could play whatever you wanted to play, you would play um, Granny. And then Granny could give you skeletons to have like another board presence. Unfortunately, that's not the case. I'm not sure how to do this. All right, let's play the legendary encounter and, and uh, basically wrap things up for today. So lightning victory and only deploying mounted heroes. Oh yeah, this was the, the level that seemed pretty self-explanatory to be honest. At least on first sight. I, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. So mounted units. So again, Tim Tim is a unit who happens to be mounted. And Yasmin is cool. I'm not 100% sure if this works the way I want it to. It really depends on how strong um, Aaron's uh, Tim Tim is. But knowing him, probably not that strong. So we want to block this path and then we want to move to the side. Oh, and now we can't connect to the bottom. Okay. Let me just... How many turns? Okay, we have two more turns. So, we can go for the active. Oh, nobody dies. Really. Nobody dies. Uh, okay. So, Yasmin can get to the other side. You cannot. So the big question is, is the summon going to survive? Because if the summon is not going to survive, we're kind of screwed here. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, summon survives. Okay, how dead are these guys? They are not... They are dead. Is this... Oh, we still have lightning victory. Okay, so we can get rid of one guy. And we can potentially get rid of another guy. So let's give Tim Tim the buff. Move Tim Tim in the middle. Go for the special. One guy is dead, other guy is damaged. Bam. Lightning victory. One of the easiest legendaries so far, in terms of 3 star, not mastering it. I disagree. It's easy to 3 star it and master it. <laughs> On the first attempt. But I uh, I have to say my Tim Tim is ridiculous. My Tim Tim has a level 44 active. Um, so that, that might, might have had something to do with it. But this looks like a festival that I can actually max score. I mean, we're already almost there. We we just need to get another emblem uh, for for Areus, and then I believe that encounter number four can be perfect scored. And then we need encounter number one. Seemed kind of hard because there's so many opponents that you have to take out. So encounter number one, I'm not in, uh, like the epic encounter number one. I'm not 100% sure about this one. I need to watch it back again. Um, it didn't seem super obvious how to perfect score this, to be honest. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. Um, and then counter number three. I just tried this once. I think there's definitely a strategy here. So I'm trying to get my hands on a, on a light 
emblem, or ready in order emblem, which would mean that encounter number four um, gets perfect scored. If if Areus is like strong enough, I think we can get there. And I think these two epic levels I can also do. And then I would have another festival with a perfect score. It would be the third festival with a perfect score. All right. Um, I have 40 energy and I have, I'm, I'm actually not number one in, in arena anymore, I'm number 11. So that means we can, we can actually get an arena opponent who's like strong enough. Number two, there we go. So, um, arena. Going for number one. This season uh, could very likely be could very likely be the first time that I'm finishing it first. There is uh, there is no way that someone has more points than me, and that people are like holding back on their tickets. I'm like 100% sure that um, nobody has maxed out points as much as me. Not even not even the guys from my own squad from um, Eternal Nexus One. So let's just um, get the list up. So here we go. This is the season so far. I can increase the size, size a little bit. So the first couple of fights were all uh, very good. And then it dropped like a stone as it always does. And now we, suddenly we were at 49. Um, this is not. This is missing a couple of fights which I have saved in, with screenshots on my phone. Um, but we're currently looking at 39 points that we can get as a maximum for a fight. So the thing is, when you're in number one, you, you saw this before, I got like, I got like 36 uh, points or something for a fight. And before it was even less, it was like 29. Eternal Nexus 1, are you dreaming? What? No, I, I meant the people from Eternal Nexus cannot be number one. The other guys from Eternal Nexus. Um, from my own squad. Like Rojo, for example, cannot be... He, there's no way he has more points than me this season. Because I'm, I was optimizing better on day one. Oh, I got luckier. You can call it what you, whatever you want. Whatever makes you feel better. I see. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm in, I'm in Eternal Nexus 1. I don't want to be in Eternal Nexus number 1. Um, I'm happy running my own guild. So, this is a good map. Uh, the only problem is that the opponent can connect on the first turn. Because his Queen Akeshro is at the front. So we want to get rid of Queen Akeshro. For that we have... Dix is his name. Say my name. And then I think we need another ranged unit here. So this is basically our, our backup strategy. It's a dogger with Akio. And then we go in with Giggs. And Queen Akeshro, I guess? I don't really like this. Anybody else? And you run it very well. Thanks. I'm trying. Um... I think that's it. I think that is it. Like we, we, are, we are very likely going to lose a unit or two. But we should win this. Oh my Naivis is now finally um, finally epic. But this should be fine. We can just go in and get rid of the opponent's dogger here. Oh yes. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. And then you can get us another shade. We may be able to get two shades if we go for the Queen Akeshro of the opponent. Not this direction, Jesus Christ. Okay, you can take out Dorga. Or you might take out Akio. Uh, not the right choice, okay. Not the right call, come on, frog attack. That works. Dörfel. Okay, I'm just gonna leave some open. Dörfel, uh, 39 points. And we are at... Uh, 5 days, 11 hours. 5 days, 11 hours. Naevis. Yes, my Naevis is finally epic. I, uh, I posted this this morning. So now we can... Where are we now? F number 5. Okay. So this is shitty because we don't get... Uh, good points anymore? 36. Yeah, we don't. We want to have more than 36 points. Nope. Nope. 35. Oh, 35 is fine. 30, we just got uh, 36, so now we get 35. This would be okay. Uh, we have to go up against Mari, who is pretty strong. Though. Uh, we might get lucky. Maybe we can get against the number one player. Yeah, here we go. One spotlight. Cool. 
Wondering why she isn't in the team. Oh no, there was no need for Naivis right now. Um, I think I think Naivis is fine, but um, I think other units are like Naivis is only like I tag her in when I need her. I don't I don't want to play her all the time. I like the ranged teams in general, but I think that um, I believe that my my team, my main team, this is my core squad for Arena. I think this is better. So um, I've played against one spotlight a couple of times. His problem is he doesn't have anybody who is like super scary. So we can move with Dorga, but then we're gonna get attacked with Akio. Um, I think this is okay. Don't think Dorga dies, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I just wait. Oh, I move to the back with Dorga. This is a good idea. Here, we can move one step to the back instead. Yeah, that seemed like a good plan. Alright, let's move to the middle. Okay, dangerous units are down, with the exception of uh, Nimrod. Okay, dangerous units are down, with no exceptions. Okay, all units are down. <laughs> so, so, come on, come on, yay, points for Akio. <laughs> so it's ridiculous, I'm always trying to optimize the XP that Akio gets. And sometimes it almost costs me matches. <laughs> so 37 points, yay. Wait, wait for what? So now we are 39 wins, yeah. And the problem is now we can't get any more points, really. Like I can't get one more good fight in. One spotlight actually has a lot of points, man. 3061. Not bad. Not bad. Um So 34. 34. I wanna get 35 for 36. Can we go back against one spotlight? 34 again? Yeah, 33. It's less. It's less. We want to go up. Come on. 35. Okay, I think 35 is fine. Durfel again. Didn't we play this guy a second ago? Yeah. Oh, auto win map. Thanks, game. Thank you so much. This is really nice of you. This is one of the maps that I'm playing when I need to level, un <laughs> level units. Yeah. Uh, good match. Yeah. Best map. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So that was uh, 35 points from Dörfel. And now we are... Yeah. Dörfel. 35. So, now we are at this crossroads where we are getting a chest. So this is one of the most important unit, uh, times in the season. The problem is that um, the, uh, the problem. It's not a problem. They're going to fix this. So this is something I can share with you guys. They're going to fix this. I, also, I, I shared this before in my live streams. So when I'm fighting the next opponent, I get a chest afterwards, and then after I pick up the chest, I can fight the same opponent for the same amount of points again. This is massive. Because sometimes you get like a ridiculous amount of points uh, for these levels. So, we need to max out points right now. So that means we want to go against number one. Here we go. 34 points. That's great. Just a drop of one point. It's one spotlight still, obviously. Soon. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's already out for some Android users. So this map, we can go in with... Uh, your name is Gix. And then we only need to worry about some other units. So Queen Akesha on the left makes a lot of sense. Dogger as a backup. Meh. And then we also have Tim Tim to clean up after. Actually, if we want to go full ranged here, we would be playing my Vera. Yeah. I, I, I don't think we need my Vera. Because our Gix is so strong. This might have not been the best move. Doesn't really matter though. Can you kill someone? 
Okay, yeah, fine. Okay, oh, sorry, and now I need to move. Move, 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 because chesty time. Chesty, chesty, chesty. And then go up against the same guy for the same points a second time. This is the cheat. See, I, I almost forgot about this after I explained it all. Can we actually? No, we can't hit any everybody. Okay, let's go for the same strategy again because it worked the first time like a charm. And oh, actually, we cannot crit this time. Okay, we can always crit. Three attackers versus one Akio. Seemed pretty straightforward. All right, thirty-four points um, against one spotlight. Thirty-four. Five days, eleven hours, and then we do this for a second time with a double fight. This is what we call a double fight. Perma ban for exploding bugs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I showed uh, I showed Snowprint a version of the arena guide that I did, where I explained this bug, and I was very open about it. And see, now you see a massive drop. Now I only get twenty three points, uh, before I got thirty four points. So you never want to fight when you're in first place. You do not want to fight when you are in first place. Let me repeat. So you need to wait, then you drop a little bit, and then you can fight again. And then you can go back to first place, obviously. But um, I'm pretty happy with how I optimize my fights this season. Uh, this, could, this could be the season. Um, so... This is the season when I finished in seventh? Yeah. This is the, the season... No, sorry, this is the season... Yeah, this is correct. This is the season when I finished in 7th place. And uh, this is the season when I finished in 3rd place. And this is the season when I'm going to finish in 1st place. <laughs> That's why I'm not into PvP. Yeah, the system is dumb. Also this, this is just weird. Like the first uh, 15 fights, for example, in this season, gave me um, 1532 points. And you get an average score of 102 points per fight. You can see that um, at the bottom here. It's German, but you can read that, obviously. Um, 102 points on average for the first 15 fights. If you do not fight on the very first day, like two hours into the season or one hour into the season, actually the earliest you can fight is six days to 22 hours because they have like a one hour break between seasons. Um, you're not going to get uh, 100 points for any fight. So you have to fight at the very beginning of the season, which is weird. And then, like I said, 1,532 points for the first 15 fights. Um, here in this season, um, first 15 fights was uh, 1,557 points, so even more. The average score is 103.8. And then in this season, it was less. Uh, this is the least Im improved season. This is, it, it was just 99 points per match, 1,487. So there's some really weird stuff about PvP. So now I'm at 42 wins in the season. So at 42 wins, that's uh, here. I got 35 points for a fight here in the uh, like two seasons, uh, four seasons ago, if you want. And then here at 43, I got 34 points. So we're basically back to where we were before because now I got 34 points as well. Um, yeah. So you can see that the numbers at the bottom, they kind of stay the same. They're mostly the same, it's like one point more, one point less. But the beginning makes all the difference and you have to, you have to play at the very beginning of the season. Um, otherwise you cannot get these 100 points per fight and you have no chance to end up in the top 10. Or almost no chance. Um, yeah, I think so. So this is really weird about PvP. I don't like this about PvP. They should just, they just come up with a, with a system where you get like first fight 95 points, second fight 94 points, third fight 93 points and just keep going one point down every time. And then if you lose a match, your next fight should still give you 93 points. Um, or every fight should just be graded the same. It's also fine. It's, it's better than this system right now. Um, because it doesn't make any sense that sometimes... So like two seasons ago, uh, one season ago, yeah, this, what, what the fuck is this? 134 points for one fight? 134 points? I, I, I'm never even over 110. 134 points for one fight. And uh, this has also not, not happened here. Like, the, the, the best I ever got was like 104 in this season. 
So, it's very weird. It's a very weird system. I don't think the system makes any sense. But yeah. Alright guys, I need to call it a day because it's almost 12 o'clock. 12 a.m. over here. Um, actually, the game just shut down, which is fine. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, there was actually some cool stuff in here. I need to... Ugh, Jesus Christ, edit it all together. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm, I might just upload this to YouTube the way it is. And I'm like, add some timestamps and tell people, hey, you need to look this. You need to look for the right level yourself. Um, I did? What do you mean? Oh, you enjoyed it. Oh, thank you so much. That's very nice of you. Thunder, it's very nice. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy my, my videos uh, that I'm doing on YouTube. There is... I don't know what I'm going to do next. There is a good chance that I'm going to focus on at least one or two Onslaught levels before I go back to something else. Um, yeah. I, I cannot tell... If, if anybody has any ideas or special wishes what you want me to cover in um, the videos, let me know. Um, I do want to talk about some, some basic stuff about guild trade. Stuff that is not, not guild internal, stuff that everybody knows, uh, but not everybody knows. Like baiting, for example, a million people have shared this on the official Discord. They said, hey, you can bait the dragon. This is no longer a secret. So uh, it's not something where I'm like, oh, we shouldn't, we should keep this like guild internal. I don't think this is like a, like a closely kept secret. So I want to talk about some things about guild raid, but I first want to talk to my guild, obviously, to make sure that we are all on the same page and nobody's going to get mad at me for uh, sharing any, anything that is like super high level knowledge. Get some tokens or badges into your stream. Yeah, yeah, the problem is I never announced this. I never let um, the Snowprint guys know that I'm going to stream. And today I really didn't know if, if this was working out. I, I wanted to. Um, yeah, but I couldn't promise it. So I, I don't go for it. I don't tell them, hey, I'm going to stream this evening. Because last festival, I asked them for 600 gems so I can go through the levels quicker. And I can get my, my YouTube videos uh, up faster for the adventure. And uh, then I ended up only needing 300 gems and I felt really bad. I was like, hey, I'm so sorry I only needed 300 gems. Actually, I shouldn't ask them for the 300 gems back because last time I got 300 more. And they were like, yeah, it's fine, Oli, you do, you do a lot of stuff, uh, just keep them. They're very nice people. Um, yeah, all right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Like I said, hope you had a good time. If you want me to cover anything on YouTube, let me know. Um, I will try to do my best to cover this in the near future. And I hope you all enjoy Rivengard. They have, um, it's a cool game in my personal opinion, obviously. And they have some, some really cool community people. Like the community people are really next level. Uh, what we saw this week when the Servitus patch was announced or the Servitus nerf was announced. And then on the very same day, they basically went above and beyond to do like an emergency meeting, talk to the designer, Tell, tell them this is not this is not going to fly, we cannot do this, these are the reasons. Uh, they listened to the ambassador feedback and then they implemented this on the very same day. I mean, it's not live yet in the patch, but they changed it for like in a second or so. Uh, by the way, the in-game message. So if you're going to the game and you read like um, the news and it's going to say new update like this, the update text is not gonna mention that the nerf to Servitus is not going to be applied. So you guys need to talk to your guilds, you need to talk to your friends, and you need to let them know that the news is not going to be current when it when it launches. They cannot fix this, they, they told this to us, to the ambassadors. So spread the word, let everybody know that the update will read that Servitus did get nerfed, but Servitus did not get nerfed. All right? That's it. Good night. Good, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, if, if it's not good night yet for you. See you guys very, very soon.